and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Haiti. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthem of Canada. of both teams there. Canada's national anthem was written by Robert Stanley Weir uh, on the 300th anniversary of the founding of Quebec. Historic anthem indeed, and of course Haiti, uh, also one of the oldest ones written in honor of Dessalines, the first ruler of that country. The teams meet, and the second team, the Haiti lineup, two changes for Haiti Terry. Charles is out. She was uh, red carded in the last game. Yes. And Nicolas is also out. Petit Prayer and Etienne are in. Yep. Interestingly, Haiti have named five defenders in this lineup. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing their setup today. I, I suspect they will go with a back four rather than a back three. 
uh, they've been very compact compact they cleared the offside trap very very well in this tournament it's been brilliant to watch again I can't stress enough these kids have come from very difficult backgrounds there in Haiti they put this team together the coaches obviously work very hard behind the scenes and they're an absolute credit to their nation Ekaterina Koroleva is the referee for today as well as Catherine Nesbitt and Dina Cordillo of Mexico and Tatiana Guzman of Nicaragua for Canada two changes also Taylor is out and Flynn in for Young is in her place Flynn the striker is also out Boychuk in her place Taylor you would remember had a head injury in the last game correct and she was on the bench actually she still is named as a substitute but she was wearing sunglasses as if to suggest there is some damage perhaps to her eyes maybe a black eye or so it was quite a clash um, god forbid we didn't want any bad injuries at all in the tournament these girls have put on some wonderful games it's been entertaining from start to finish um, but that was a terrible clash we saw on friday evening and of course the question for the finals later on if taylor has been ruled out for this this uh, particular clash because of that head, head injury what about the young Mexican player who was also injured in that yes and Oval and she is one of the outstanding players of the tournament will Mexico risk having her on she's not one to head the ball much but that yeah. uh, questions we'll see answered later on KT as Terry predicted setting setting up with the back four and immediately they get Elosand moving down the left side Elisant, tricky little player. Dispossessed for the moment by Regan. And now completing the clearance will be Boychuk. Here is Haitama. She didn't enjoy playing on the right side at all the last time around, but she's back on. Regan, nice little move inside. Given away, space here at the back. Mondesir can look to exploit that. Drifted past Antoine, nobody in the center just yet. Judy is struggling to get there. Now we're seeing a player coming across, but uh, the pass was not well hit by Mondesir. And uh, Canada get it clear. And that has really been a feature of uh, Haiti's play. They've kept both back four and the midfield five tight together, very compact as a unit. Mondesir has been the only one that's been allowed beyond that. And she, of course, is the secret weapon. Brilliant on the ball, speed, great in the air. Terrific young footballer, uh, playing uh, football in France with Montpellier. Well, Itama, who was on the right side briefly, has now turned up on the left. Yeah. She's more comfortable on that side, Itama. Well, uh, that's the one thing, again, with, with uh, Canada video, which I said to you earlier. Canada, for me, my one, disappointment is they've been very predictable they've played 4-5-1 and the striker has been Heitemar up front on her own with the two wingers and they've not really nailed down the wingers or the, the position, the person to play in that number 10 spot well Regan tackled out of it, Elisar doesn't understand why Mark Collar is also a little bit bemused the Martinique born coach of uh, Haiti but not too many complaints so many of these girls playing for Haiti, they look a waif of the size of the girls here for Canada, but my God, they put a foot in, they competed for every ball, they put themselves on the line for nation, they've been an absolute credit. Well, it's too far ahead of uh, either Boychuk or Stratagakis, who was interested in that for a moment. Here's Theus, Curly Theus, the club footballer out of Haiti. And um, that uh, very bright pink. Well, even well, easier to see that was a what? poor kick. Unbelievable. This girl, they is, you just don't know what to expect from her. One minute she's flapped at crosses and looked terrible all over the place. And then the, within minutes she pulls her up, saves that. Uh, wow. Some of the best saves of the tournament. Yeah. Very unpredictable. Yeah, she certainly has been. And she was off a line. And there was an attempted shot by Boychuk, which was charged down. She was trying to lob her from distance. 
here is Stratagakis, who is offside. Good, Good movement from Canada again there. But there we go. We see the offside trap again. They hold that fine line. They do not budge this, this uh, Haitian back four. Very well drilled. The coach, Mark Kulat, has done a wonderful job with these kids. They're well organized, they're compact, they're very competitive, they know the game plan with the ball, they know the game plan without the ball. All round, can't argue with the, the, the tournament that these girls have had for Haiti. As Mondesir wins it back for our team. Dispossessed by Grosso. In the center of defense for Canada, one of the players there is Young. He has yet to get involved, really. He's had one touch so far. Is Antoine that's given away? Poor giveaway by Canada here. But she does have gr great pace, and that's what she used to get dispossessed on this air. Yeah, can't argue with that. <coughs> Maya Antoine's been one of the defenders of the tournament. Strong, good in the air, very quick. She's given nothing to wear. As we see the rain coming over. The Atabolan Stadium here in Coover, Trinidad and Tobago. It's coming down quite heavy at the moment. Something the girls haven't experienced over the tournament video. Yeah, that's right. There's been rain on the mornings, in the afternoons, but none during the matches itself. Yeah. Almost Note. as if there was a truce between the football and the rain. Well, recognizing that we are kicking off earlier today, video. That's right. The truce has been broken, so to speak. <laughs> Good football again. Judy and Mondesir is there. But once again, you see the speed of Antoine. Yeah. Passed it to us. Judy headed away by Young. Ooh, that's a heavy tackle again. Two girls going for it there. Not giving anything up. Wojciech is one of them. Wojciech there. Steaming in for that one. And Elisant on the other side for Haiti. Wojciech uh, brought in for this game at the expense of uh, Shayna Flynn. There and we go again. Yeah, that's a uh, very heavy tackle. That is two committed young ladies want to do the best for their countries. As we see how heavy that rain is coming down here at the Atapolan Stadium. Tropical conditions, yeah. And uh, the rain at the in the vicinity here was one of the talking points. Yeah. During that now famous or infamous, depending on where you live, yes, that match between TNT and the USA when the s the r running track around the Atabolan Stadium was covered with water, uh, a lot of ridicule was uh, pointed towards the officials here in Trinidad. However, all of that stopped after TNT knocked uh, the USA out. Correct. Here is Haitama oh. brought down. Well, that looked like tackle. a foul, but uh, yeah. anyway, it's going on. Here's Judy. Retains possession, oh, Montesir. Good, good play. Well, she still manages to get it in front of Riga, and she goes down. Strength. Still to play on. Montesir, to her credit, never asked for the penalty. Strength Gets again. the cross in. Well, they still can't get it here, clear here, Canada. Now, finally, they do so with Rivera. Video, that's been a feature of Haiti's play. They give nothing up. They tackle and tackle and tackle until it comes their way. Their, their team spirit has been outstanding in this tournament. Young forward to it, And uh, it is the Haiti team that got here, the third side from the Caribbean to get to the semi-final stage. They got here by beating the host Trinidad and Tobago 3-2. Yeah. And then Costa Rica 3-2. However, lost to Canada 4-0 in the match before this one. They yeah. arrested nine players. And Flynn, one of the players sacrificed for today, gave away, but she got three goals in 18 minutes. Yes. It is quite amazing. <coughs> <coughs> this Haiti team, head and shoulders, miles in front of both Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. Their quality of football, their organization. Again, I'll repeat myself. But fair play to the backroom staff, Mark Collette, the coach. They've done a wonderful job with such limited resources. 
certainly have. Canada on the attack here. Paitama can keep it in play. Looking for Regan. Here's Regan. Takes it to the byline. Can she get the cross in? May have come off her foot last. Yes, it does. Uh, that's a goal kick, but a good tackle by the Haiti defender. I'm not sure if it was uh, Joseph, but it looks like Elisant was actually tackling back. Elisant putting a foot in. It doesn't matter whether you're a forward or defender, midfield player. If you're in this Haiti team, you've got to be prepared to have a battle. And that's what they've brought to this tournament. Again, just reflecting on the semi finals there, Vidya. Regan was stopped by Oval from getting forward, if you remember. Yes. Didn't see her overlapping at all. Already in this game, we've seen her trapping forward, trying to make the numbers up, get us <coughs> crosses into the box. <coughs> Cleared into touch there. Throw in coming up for Canada. As for Canada, they defeated Costa Rica 3-1, and then Trinidad and Tobago 4-1, and before that we have the 4-0 against uh, Haiti. So the two teams from Group A ending up in the third place match, and uh, both teams from Group B ending up in the finals. Yes. Uh, both teams, it's not a question of there was some talk about uh, the amount of rest given that there was an extra day. Yeah. But actually, these two teams have the extra day. That's a great ball. What a ball that is from Dumonet. Petit Frere gets it in. Judy is there, but not doesn't get as far as she does. Again, uh, Dumonet in midfield there for Haiti. Vidya, that young lady is still only 15 years old. Power, strength. Abilities, fantastic future she's got in front of her. And I believe, Vidya, you've got some stats around you. We, Haiti are the youngest team in the tournament. Yeah, they certainly are. And isn't it right that Canada are the second youngest? That's right, but here's uh, Wojciech on the attack here for Canada. If she can get past Mathurin, she gets the cross in. Oh, oh she misses it! And uh, could this oh. be the opening goal? No! Again, another slip up from Theos and almost punished, but it will be a corner. Such drama again we're seeing in these women's under 20 World Cup qualifying games. That was brilliant football again from Canada. Great crossing behind there. Goalkeeper, as we've already said, you don't know what you're going to get from this girl at all, Theos. Here we go. Great ball in behind. Pace and strength. And this is passed in there on the wet surface. It just skips off there. Eludes the keeper and just can't do enough Stratocacus to keep it underneath the crossbar. Actually, it was a great stop by the goalkeeper, by the defender. Oh. Almost headed in at the far post. Theos again. All oh, let's see here. <laughs> oh, she's been a delight to watch, hasn't she? Yeah. We don't know what to expect from one day at the next. Well, Shaquille Ellie has some deficiencies in, in some aspects of her game. Crosses. Uh, the crosses, she's definitely. She's really yeah. not the best at them. No. Nah. Paitamo almost heading that one in. Yeah. Yeah, the crosses, definitely. Look how uh, she doesn't really get off the ground. Uh, perhaps uh, there's, a, there's a slight uh, issue to be dealt with there with the technical staff in terms of how she backpedals. She doesn't quite get it right. That one skips through. Chance. And a chance, chance here chance. for Mondes here. Who could get it on the end of it, but a vital touch there by Antoine, who makes the stop. Brilliant stuff. Yeah. The defenders are really hauling their teams out here. Boychuk, Sathias, but I, I, if I were forward, I'll, I'll continue chasing. Well, <laughs> we've just had quite a downpour video, as you know, and the ball's coming off the surface a little quicker than expected. And certainly with the earlier cross there, I thought she was all at sea, Theos, and, and misjudged the flight of the corner on top of that. Haiti up, back, and through. They've hit two or three great balls. A terrific ball from Dumonier there inside the fullback. Setting Etienne off on that right-hand side. Look at the football. Look at the quality coming out of the back here for Haiti. They really have been a delight to watch. Certainly have been. Here's Elisant. Another one of those foraging runs forward. Quick little player. Tied on the ball. Nicely. Gets the ball in. That was a good ball towards Mondesir. 
who didn't quite, she wasn't on the same wavelength no, there. They've just not got that st same strength and kicking ability to actually get that ball in the box. What a good run, though, otherwise. Well, Regan has decided she's going to try a hand to get forward, but when she does that, she's leaving some huge holes at the back. Yeah. And Elo Sant and Mondesir are getting into them. And those two are dangerous when they combine. Here's Stratagakis with a knifing run through the middle. Good run. And uh, that's Revere, whose control let her down. And Haiti will go the other way. Well, that's going to be a yellow card. Oh, that's a perhaps a deserved one there for Revere, very who's early. sliding in. Yeah, very early yellow card there for Revere. She, she, again, like all of these girls, very competitive, as we see it again there. She actually gets a foot on the ball there. I can't see too much wrong with the tackle, actually, there, Vidya. Here we go again. There she goes. Yeah, she she gets the ball first, but follows through. She's upset with the yellow card, but what can you do? And a smile on her face as she dealt with it. That's how she plays the game. Always yes. a big smile, enjoys her football, no matter what's going on around her. Powered by Young in the midfield for Haiti is Etienne. Etienne has the very smart little head tie. Carl there tidying things up for Canada. Regan trapping forward. We didn't see that in the semi final. Oh, that's a poor ball by Boychuk there. It's off balance. Yeah, she should have took two touches there, video. One out of her feet. The next second one should have been the cross. Again, the ball skipping off the surface a little quicker now, now that you've got that nice little bit of wet on the top. And I'm wondering if that's going to suit Haiti more, given that they, they play a lot on the artificial surface. Yes. Well, what that will do is when they push up and keep that tight line, that offside trap, anything that is long now will skip through to the goalkeeper. And we've already seen Theus is very comfortable in that sweeper's role in behind a back four. Mondesir. Here is Dumonet, forward towards Elosant. Mondesir picks it up again. Two players ahead of her. One of them is Elosant. Good skill from nice the young lady here again. From the little Tremendous number stuff there from Elosant. Gets it out to Etienne on the far side of the field. Again, Haiti showing that they can play as well. They're not just competitive. They're a good footballing side. Powered by Dumonet. On this year will not get there and cleared by young both defenses have been tested so far yes judy forward towards elosant a bit too far forward that would be easy for reagan riley foster elosant looks like she's been to the hairdresser a little bit of color in her tresses there <laughs> players these days expect we'd see players. players these days women these <laughs> days oh it's nicked oh here opportunity is Judy. Oh, that was well nearly. it was forward to us do 1a but cut out it might still be but that's a poor cross indeed yeah and that's pretty much you've got Elisant on this left hand side on the right hand side you've got Etienne both very quick young ladies very competitive they put a foot in but sometimes lack that final pass final cross Sometimes it doesn't come with the same quality, but you can't fault their efforts. There she goes again, Elisant on the different, on the next wing this time. Look how quickly they're closing down from the front there. Pressuring the Canadians, not allowing them to settle here. Yep, that's that's training ground stuff, that video. That's what the coaches put into them. That's their tactics for the day. They've been very efficient at the back. Pass the ball very simple, got the ball forward whenever they can with with a bit of quality. I'll tell you what, the two supporters, two sets of supporters in the stands are doing a little bit of a rival chanting in front of us as the play continues. The Canadians are chanting for their team. Oh, and, oh that's a lovely a ball through for Mon. It could be the opening goal. Oh! Oh! Judy has put Haiti ahead in the 18th minute. What and Haiti, what a goal through the center, spanked it home. They never stop pulling something else out of the bag. What about the quality of the look of the young lady? Tears in the stand for the young lady that was suspended, Charles. 
Emmeline Charles there. But that was look at the pass here from Mondesia. Takes it on one touch, two touch, boom! Past the keeper. This is first class football from Haiti. Leading the way from the for the Caribbean. Tremendous stuff. Is that gonna be the goal that puts Haiti in the World Cup as Judy scores in the 17th minute to make it? But well, what a goal that was. And Mondesir, what a pass from her uh, to set up Judy. Brilliant. And that, I mean, this video would be a shock. Canada not progressing. If it was to remain as is and Canada to be knocked out at this stage, that would be a huge shock in under 20 women's football. Well, the only time Canada previously played in the third place playoff, they lost. It was to Costa Rica in 2010. Wow they were not able to lift themselves out to the disappointment of losing the semi-final. Is that the case this time around? Well, I, I'd have to say that Canada started again very well today. They pressed forward. They got at this Haiti side from very early, got several crosses in. But, my God, you, you just can't write this team off from Haiti. They don't give up on anything. They compete on every pass, every cross, every shot. They've done a great job. And here they go again. Yes, well, this here, a chance to run at Young. That's great defending there by Young, doing enough to get the ball into touch. But she was hassled and harried all the way by Montesir. Yeah, Montesir, what a ball that was in behind for Judy for the goal. Top quality football. Your centre forward comes short into midfield. And here we see the challenge again. Look at Montesir, look at the determination on that young lady there. When you see that kind of play, it, it takes me back to that goal she scored against the United States as the shore has already been taken here. And a little push on the back of Regan, but that's a throw in. The ball was never going to fall for her to volley it home. Yeah. The defenders were closing on her, and uh, there is Emmeline Charles, who was uh, suspended for this game, uh, as you remember. Yeah, the ball was never going to drop for her. Well done by Haitima to keep it in. It's never going to drop, but she, the defenders would have closed in on her, and certainly the keeper would have also. And she just, got, she got it with the right knee and in the back of the net. Correct. And that was lovely stuff. She improvised perfectly. She's been an outstanding player. She's had to be good. She's been a lone striker for this Haiti side. Elisson loses out possibly the player of the tournament. Grosso, nice idea from Grosso, but uh, the pass did not find Boychuk. Stradagakis will try again. Haitama tackled out of it. Dumane, the powered ball. Yeah. Mondesir is there. Can she's she get past Antoine? She's a threat. She manages Antoine. to hold on to it. Here's Judy. There's that combination oh, again. Oh, that's a poor ball by Judy. She was expecting Petit Frere to move forward to that. Yeah. So what we're seeing here, video, He's the goal again. What about this for a strike? Boom, past the keeper. That is first class football. Look at the jubilation on the bench there, video. That's what it means to these kids from 80. Good luck to them. Delighted for them. Great goal leading the way for the Caribbean region. Remember, the team that wins this game will move forward to the World Cup in uh, 2018, later on this year. So it's a big goal indeed to go first. Ball played into it. Judy again. Yeah. She will shoot a goal. Yeah. It turns out to be a back pass to the goalkeeper. Almost. So, so I think what's worthwhile pointing out here, I think the, the little partnerships that you've got within the team video, Judy links up very, very well with Mondesir up front and also Another shot on the goal. Easy for Foster. But you recognise the last five to seven minutes. Canada have been struggling to get out of their half. This has been sustained pressure. Passing and movement from Haiti. Again, terrific stuff. Local fans are rooting for Haiti as the sole Caribbean team. Both and Canada well supported also here. Yeah. Forward by Maturin. Dumonet loses out. Gabby Carl back into center. Good ball out to Regan. And that's going to be a throw in for Canada. And, and, and what we've seen from Canada video, as I said earlier, they're, they're fairly predictable. They keep the same formation, which is 4-5-1, with the one being um, Jordan Heitemer up front. I don't know whether they might be better off, you know, 
H here only playing with Mondezer up front, going with a back three, pushing another body further forward, and having somebody up front to join Haitama. Looks like a knee injury there for Young. Yeah. They're not having it their own way. <laughs> this Haiti team, when it comes to a 50 50 tackle, they don't come second. Is that going to evening? The referee taking drink herself there. Ekaterina Koroleva of the USA. Now remember, Young is the second string central defender. She was in for Hannah Taylor, injured in the last game. Yeah. And if Canada have to bring somebody else on, that's going to be a real challenge to their depth chart. Not sure if they have another central defender to come in. Yeah. Someone may have to play out of position slightly. She's limping off. Looks good enough. She might be able to shake off this injury and continue. It Canada might be will be out at 10. Grosso might have to slip into a back back uh, four or again that might be an opportunity for them then to go three at the back and offer somebody up front to, to partner with Haitema who I think has been after after having a fabulous start to the tournament she struggled in the last two games because she's been on her own she's been isolated Vidya hasn't scored in the last two games after five goals in the first two games yes and uh, missed several chances against Haiti there we go. And in the semi-finals, didn't get a chance on goal, really. Mondezer there, <laughs> again, highlighting what this Haiti side are all about. Regan with the free kick for Canada. Four inside of the box for Canada. Three of them on the far side. One of them is Haitama. Boychuk is very strong on the far side. She gets the cross back in. Good cross. Here is Haitama straight at this. Yeah, just couldn't pull it back. That header needed to be back across the six-yard line. Where Stratocacus has got herself into the box. I, I come back too tight an angle to score with a header from that distance. Haiti has never made it this far in the competition. Canada have been in this position once and lost. So unknown territory in terms of winning a third-place playoff for both teams. Yeah. There's that girl, Judy, again. I think after she, she was a, a little unknown in the first game we saw, there's the header. She goes for goal. That should have been across the six-yard line where Stratocacus was waiting. But coming back to Judy, I think she's been another unsung hero from this Haiti side. Great on the ball, good engine. Supplying crosses, passes forward, and, of course, getting on the score sheet herself. Dumoni forward towards Mondesir. Judy is there. Now that will be picked up on the far side by Petty Frere. And she gives it away to Boychuk. Judy, however, was most remembered at the start of the tournament for that remarkable miss when she had an open goal against Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. But since then, she's been spectacular. Well, not sure what happened there. Yeah, Joseph. I, I didn't say anything there. I think she w turned to run back, not recognizing what was going on there she took a knock in the middle of the forehead it looks like that was Caitlin Shaw Caitlin Shaw yeah yeah when she gets up and runs back oh well that didn't look uh, uh, the elbow looked like it hit against the head of the player I'm not sure how deliberate that was Terry well I didn't think it was at I didn't think it was at, at, at all but, but in the replay there it doesn't look very nice at all does it no it that would be a disappointment well the referee was right there she had a good look at it so and ignored it yes yeah, she didn't seem to think there was anything much in it but uh, it was a dicey moment there for Boychuk and she might be on the referee's radar after Here that we go again that's a great tackle chasing back Pretty fair. Here we go. Well, it looked like she followed through with the elbow. Uh, I'm not so sure. I think she just a little a push, maybe. Maybe made a meal out of that. Yeah, maybe she did. <laughs> well, the player there just going down dramatically. Yeah. Uh, maybe just a push in with the elbow from Boychuk. All the same, I'm sure the referee would have taken note of that. Opportunity for Canada to get it in the box. Cross on Young. the ball. Haitama is there. Dumonet is there. Hooked away from. The Rivere, Regan may try to hit this one at goal. Elosand gets it clear. 
Rivier picks it up for Canada. Good Far side, that's a good ball. Great ball. Theos, that's well. <laughs> You're just not sure, are you? Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't know how to call Was that she one. she going to catch it, punch <laughs> it, drop it? We just didn't know. But she did well that time, Theos. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a goal kick. Well, she's going to knock it forward here. Haiti leading 1-0 in this one. Haiti have never qualified for the FIFA the 20 Women's yep. World Cup. No Caribbean side has. So it will be a proud moment for them if they go into the World Cup. Incredible. And, and what's interesting is that for both teams, remember these are the only two countries in the Western Hemisphere that have French as their first language. Yeah. And the World Cup, as you know, is in France. Brilliant stuff that is. Is Regan. on this side. That's a great ball towards Rivera. That is a good ball. Can she get the ball in? She does. Two defenders there, and yeah. they just can't seem to get their clearances together now. Yeah, a little bit of a panic on there, but um, again, Nord. what a competition we've got here. Pressure here by Canada. Grosso is heading across to take this one, and Rivera back on the right side is providing some width for Canada, which they have exploited. This will be an in-swinger right on the keeper. Keeper's flapped at everything. Heitner will come in at the far stick yet again. There's Grosso. Tears is there. What problem were you talking about, Terry? She yes. says. So in the admitted, what do I double catch. What do I know about football? This young lady, lady proven me wrong on every occasion. Powerful kick forward. On this here, we'll chase after this one. Antoine is there. Bit of a battle going on in the stands, as we mentioned earlier. From the time the Canadians start chanting, let's go Canada, the locals start chanting, let's go Haiti. All in good fun here. Both sets of supporters just a few meters apart. Yeah. Haiti has always enjoyed a lot of support here in Trinidad and Tobago in football matches. And uh, in spite of the fact that TNT and Haiti played to a dramatic match in the qualification for the men's world cup in 1973 uh, in which uh, a referee was banned for life a linesman as they were called back then also banned for life uh, five goals were scored but haiti won two one five goals scored by tnt yes i heard that, yeah, that was that. a dramatic match indeed and in spite of that haiti always receiving a lot of support on tnt soil here is Haitima driving forward for canada she finds Carl, who's drifted out of the game. That's a good ball out to Boychuk. Oh, she just missed that first touch. Haitima is inside. Is she in an offside position? She looked like she had drifted there, but the ball never got to her. But here's one played over towards Antoine. Oh, that was tough. Yeah. Judy. Well, Mondesir had stopped her run. Yeah. And that's the combination. Judy gets very close to Mondesir, and she's just looking to hit the space. A race between Mondesir and the goalkeeper, not central defender, the goalkeeper trying to get in behind this Canadian back four. Canada back on the attack. Played into its boy Chuck again. Theus is there. Does so comfortably. Theus. Yeah, looking good today, Theus. Obviously had a good night's sleep, well rested. <laughs> well played forward by Cathro, Ashley Cathro. Headed on here for Haiti. Ella Sanchez. Antoine, a Antoine gives foot. it a little bit short oh. to the goalkeeper, but she does well. Riley Foster. I can't believe that video. Mondesir pulled out of that. That's the first time I've seen any Haiti players pulling out of any challenges. That was there to be won. Regan to Rivera. Early cross for Rivera. Haiti headed straight back to her. Good defending. She's Looks been like booked uh, once yeah. already. She's got to be very careful. Well, they were looking for a handball there, Canada. Rivera, she's got to be careful on a yellow card, Vidya. Yes, she certainly doesn't want to get herself sent off here. Canada haven't had any player sent off for this match. There no, we that go. was stretching for it again. You see that? You just don't know with referees these days how they would s see that. But she did pull out of it, and that uh, I think uh, saved her there, Terry. Yeah. Sometimes young ladies, a little bit excited. Haitema. Good skills nice from Haitema there. Up on there to Rivera. Good ball inside. Here is Stratagakis for Canada. Young. 
again just look how compact the field is video that's because the Haiti back four have squeezed right up they keeping the running distances down Carl tried to play it inside the defender free kick that's got a be Stratocatus just caught well boy just Boychuk. pulled on the back of Nord yeah, just caught her back of her heels there she fell heavily on her arm also yes they seem to have damaged her hand but Canada are finding a bit of a struggle there because Haiti is squeezing up. They've got a very tight line at the back there. Here we go again. Tried to brace herself with the right hand. Yes. And the hand just slipped off the wet surface. Bit of a stinging blow there for the Haitian player. But the Haiti goal was a stinging blow in itself. Yes. In the 18th minute by Judy. Really spanked it home. What a goal that was. Fabulous pass also. Zelosan going up for that one. Antoine is there calling her goalkeeper but then has to deal with it herself to repair very competent young lady there you go good pressure again from Haiti making Canada make mistakes uncharacteristic mistakes there's Bev Priestman she's a busy little walk doesn't she oh she's flicked it on here to Judy it would have looked pretty good if it came off Here's a little factoid about Montessier for you, Terry. Haiti's record in this competition includes 12 goals, and this is in all of their appearances in this format, in this category of the game. Montessier has six out of those 12 goals. Wow. Half of she the goals a, for She is a terrific player. She is. Uh, Haiti, are not, you know, when it comes to a battle, and, and that's what surprised me, we go again, there's the flick over the top. There's the little barge on Carla gets a free kick to the team. It's the stylish Etienne. A chance at Judy to try a flick of her own, which doesn't come off. Yeah. Grosso. Grosso, who's not been in the game very much, which has not been like her. She's pretty much run the game. Regan complaining. She got a knock in the face there. Elisan says it never happened. Yeah. Didn't see anything there, really. Well, sometimes a trailing arm. Maybe. He, here we go again. Watch the left, the right hand there is right in her face. That's where the contact came. Elisant been excellent for this Haiti side. Regan has been given the free kick. Bev Priestman right there, handing out a few instructions. And we saw a goal scored against Theos from this very spot against Costa Rica. Yes. One that sailed over her and into the net. Here's it a one played into that direction. Sadagakas. Well, it came off the defender, Ja. And Theos had an easy job in picking that one up. Yeah. And video as we as we closing in now on 37 minutes of the game. There's the fans there enjoying every moment. I'd have to say the chances have come Haiti's way and not Canada. For possession that they've had, Canada, they've not opened this Haiti defence up yet. They've not really looked like scoring. Good football again there by Mondesir. Etienne. Football. Forward to a Schmatherin. Terrific stuff, that is. Good tracking back by Rivera doing her defensive duties deep for a team. And as I've said in the past, early on in the tournament, the this Haiti side I'm sure they're they're benefiting from the synthetic surfaces they play on in Haiti makes you get the ball down makes you play football makes you accurate where you're passing Haiti four hey, wins hey, hey, in the history of this competition if they get win number five it's going to be the most significant win in the history of women's football in their country it what will be the achievement game the win that will take them to the World Cup. They still lead 1-0. Yeah. What an achievement that would be for this country that's been subject to so much over the last years with a hurricane and Well, if in fact, earthquake. the year there was the earthquake, there was a hurricane right after. Correct. Gone naive. Many people died in the mudslides there. Here's the ball played in by Elisant. Look at the tackling she tackles back. back and gives away the free kick. Brought yeah. down Stratagakis in the process. Well, I think that's got to be a yellow card as well. In fact, yes, he's yeah, getting a is. yellow card. It's the same scenario as we've had for Rivera. 
playing on the wing for Canada. Persistent tackling. Lover commitment for the team, but now and again it's just been a bit frantic. Second yellow card in the match. Yellow sergeant in the 38th minute. And Antoine, remember, got one in the 14th minute. Yeah. And the goal coming in the 18th. That's the most important time to measure in this one. Canada making two changes coming into this game. Haiti also, as we pointed out earlier, Haiti are the youngest team in the competition at 17.63 years. Canada next youngest with 17.86. And interestingly, the two youngest teams are playing in the third place playoff and the two oldest teams are playing in the finals. So is it about experience? Uh, it certainly has to be. I don't think so, Matt. When you look at um, both Trinidad and Tobago and... Ball played in. High to Bazaar. That was a Just chance. Just the... Well, there's an offside on the play. Offside given there. But again, they are having a flap at it. Against Stratagakis, by the looks of it. Not the biggest Stratagakis, but good pressure from Haiti. That's what they need. They need to get the ball in the box. Here we go again. Good cross this is. Item is the first one. It just get loops up in the air. And this is the challenge. Keeper comes as a flap at it first time. But offside was giving. Giveaway here by Canada. Haitama turns with it. Thought about the shot, Haitama. Again, lack of support. She's got nobody to pass to there, Vidya. Now she finds Rivera. Three on the far side. Oh, that's a good one. One of them ball. is Stratagakis. What a catch. Players from the 40th minute and Theus claims that confidently. Yeah, pluck that out of the air like David De Gea, Manchester United goalkeeper. Here we go again. Nice and high, confident. That's terrific goalkeeping. Relieves the pressure off our back four. Last five minutes of the half video. This Haiti side will want to go in with a clean sheet. Good run up the right hand channel there. Into a good football again. It's a one and one here for Haiti. But Antoine, as admirable as she has been all yeah. the way through this tournament, does well. And she's out of position now. Can Montesir profit from that? Good football again. Played back in. A chance here by Haiti. Haiti. Judy was in a free position. Yeah. Just quickly, as you talked about the clean sheet there, Terry, there's only been one clean sheet for Haiti in the history of this tournament, and that came six years ago against Jamaica in a nil-nil draw. So they will be doing something they haven't done for quite a while. They might need a second goal in video, right? <laughs> Absolutely, it seems that way now. Judy has the first goal. She also has the corner. And Marc Collard looking on intently. Here they go again. Very well organized again, I'd have to say. Here Collard's obviously worked out a lot of things here. Ball into the center. Played by Grosso, straight down the throat of an 80 player. That's Matherin. Yeah. His forward pass is not great. Regan with the clearance, straight to Montesir. Given back to Haiti. Dumonet will put this one inside for Etienne. And now Cathro with the clearance, straight at Boychuk. Grosso, and that is a foul on Dumonet. Boychuk. For me, that should have been a yellow card as well. The young lady there, she's been, and the referee is having a word. Two or three occasions now, she's clattered into the opposite number. But that's a yellow card for me. Video. Yeah, that's from behind. Yeah. And, uh, too far away from the ball that time, Boychuk. This young lady, 15. Very what strong. What a talent. What a talent. And a powerful shot. I wouldn't be surprised if she tries one from here, Terry. Well, she has got a powerful shot, but this is a long, long way out. And Mont Foster Sierra. has been outstanding. Here's Dumonet! Whoa! What almost got it in! Was. What a shot that was from such a distance. 15 years of age. I cannot believe that. I was, can't believe what I've just seen. What were you saying about not being able to hit it from that distance? No, I just said so far out. But look at the power, technique, timing. Forcing the keeper Foster into a top class save. <laughs> Great these, football these all women, around. What do I know about football? These women are showing us the way. What a terrific okay. tournament. 
an absolute credit. Two minutes to half time. Etienne headed away from her. Regan just manages to get the clearance. And Haiti threatened here late. In the first half, they have a 1-0 lead. Goal in the 18th minute by Judy. And uh, their chances of qualifying for France 2018 improve here. Followed by Mathurin. On this here is there. Here's Judy. Cleared away from Judy. Not got a good first touch. And that uh, might be a foul on Heitema. Yeah. Canada will have the ball late in the first half. Again, very well organized, this Haiti side. Running the clock down. Pressure on the ball wherever they can. Look at their back line. Their back line is tight together again. That is organization on the training ground. Continuous sessions, making sure they get perfection. And they defended so stoutly throughout the tournament. That clean sheet might be today, Vidya. One minute to be added for time added on for stoppages here. AT will have a further minute here to hold on to their lead. Another play going down. Two yeah. players, it looks like a clash of heads there. Yeah, referee has no alternative to stop the game immediately if it's a clash of heads. Elisant getting clattered in the back of the head and it looks is that Regan who also took it on the head what a battle that is between the two of them yeah, it certainly has been we also saw Taylor getting a knock on the head and there was a huge bump oh that was the clash there yeah both players going for it eyes on the ball Tradagakis walking away Regan there is confirmation one minute of time added on for stoppages indicated by Tatiana Guzman of Nicaragua and uh, certainly her team might be back home but they certainly have played their part in the tournament Nicaragua going away with a draw against Jamaica in their last game after losing their first two games but certainly showed some great glimpses for the future there of Central American football and for CONCACAF in general oh we can't argue this has been another 45 minutes terrific football and a unbelievable goal i think we've got to look at the quality of the goal again sensational stuff from the ladies played into a gd cleared by Rivera. falls onto the cycle track i'm just looking Hello, at son. this video i'm just looking at this canadian side and to get back into this i wonder whether they need to change the formation they need a different style they need to offer one more player up front so they've got more than one instead of just hiding out which is a great turn but look where she is she's got five players around her before she's getting any support from the back heel. gets it towards uh, Regan overlapping That's and the there is the end of the first half and the first half has belonged to Haiti who have the only goal of the game two yellow cards handed out and the Haitian supporters happy, aren't they on their way to the World Cup? They're 45 minutes away from it. Will they be able to hold on or tack on another goal? Or will Canada come back strong in the second half? We will have the answers to all of that coming up in the second half. Score at the halftime stage. It is Haiti 1, Canada nil.
plight of the Canadians hoping for a place in France 2018. They were in high spirits at the game started at the Atomolden Stadium here in Coover, Trinidad. Canada coming in without only one third place playoff before this and they lost that one to Costa Rica. And as they started out, it was easily seen that this was going to be a very competitive event indeed. Boychuk, when the rains came down, a chance there for Stratagakis coming off the bar. Theos there flapping at that one again. And what a tackle to prevent Stratagakis. Haitama almost heading that one in. The tackles came sliding in. A, re a yellow card for Rivera. Bev Priestman side under pressure. And what about this for a pass? A and Judy! Stepping into the box and blasting it all. 1 0 Haiti. Yeah, what about that for a pass? Reverse pass to put Judy in. What a finish. This is a tremendous goal. That could be in any league in the world. That could be in the World Cup late this year in Russia. That, what a fabulous goal that was to put Haiti 1 0 up. Shot in on goal there by Judy. Easily saved by Foster and a giveaway on the play. Well, the Haitian player getting knocked in the head there. She claimed it was a lot worse than it was and uh, pulled out of the tackle there, Mondesir. There was a chance here for Canada late in the half. Theos yep. saved well and a yellow card for Elosant late in it. Theos there making the save. The last chance there saved by Foster, but that was all there's going to be. Haiti won, Canada deal at the half.
Welcome back to second half coverage of this 2018 CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship third place playoff between Haiti and Canada. The Canadians are out in full force, but it is Haiti that has the lead 1-0, a goal scored in the 18th minute by Judy. Vinny Rampal alongside Terry Fennick here at the Atomolden Stadium. And tell you what, Canada are going to roll the dice here early. And uh, seven, that's uh, Shayna Flynn is going to come in. And the uh, Boychuk, who looked like she was in danger of, of uh, boiling over, you have to say, in that first half. Uh, she had several off-the-ball incidents. She has been sacrificed. And Flynn is in. Yeah, so well, I think, Vidya, just looking at this game, for me, it's, all, it's not about the players. It's about the coach. Beverly um, Priestman, yeah. Priestman has got to make not just player for player changes, she's got to change the tactics of the game. There's not enough support up front for Heitema. She's doing her stuff, she's doing an okay job there, but there's not anybody getting in advance of Heitinger, and quite often she looks isolated as a centre forward in what is still a very strong Canada team but they're not creating enough chances because they're not getting bodies beyond the centre forward. They're not getting bodies forward in numbers. So I think there's got to be a, a tactical change here for Canada to upset what I think is the surprise of the tournament in Haiti. Just about ready for the start of the second half. And all eyes on Ekaterina Koroleva of the USA. She's just waiting for a signal from match commissioner Yolanda Camacho of Costa Rica and the Caribbean and the Central America including North America all three have been represented among the officials in this tournament it's been a great experience outside of the tournament uh, just not just for the players but the officials have had the opportunity to work in foreign conditions we've also seen one of the local referees getting a a chance to referee three games including one of the semi-finals and who is to bet against her working in the finals yeah the tournament in general has been outstanding my only drawback for the whole tournament video has been the numbers support has not been as good as i'd expected this is world cup qualification at women's under 20 level and the, the quality of the football the standard has been first class certainly has been and the water is coming down here in Trinidad and Tobago. Some more rain as we start off the second half. And that's the more the ball will skip off the surface. Just Defenders, looking, there look, could be some errors as we look forward. Yeah, just looking at this Canadian side, there's no change in tactics. It's the same formation. Call number 10 in behind. Uh, Heitema has struggled to get into this game. Stratocactus has not been as prominent as she can be. It might need a second centre forward, somebody to partner. Heitemer up front. The two wingers are too far away, they're too much distance in between. Gabby Carl, after her team lost the semi finals to Mexico in the yeah. second semi final on Tuesday, on Friday, in fact. She said that we may not win this tournament, but we will qualify for the World Cup. Yes. The team certainly has a lot of work to do so. Correct. They are to get there. That was a very bold statement. But who they have fired up Haiti, actually. Correct. Who would put anything by Haiti? I mean, when you look at... I, I'm worried about the tactics for Canada and the inability of them to get players in beyond, beyond uh, Haitima. And then you look at the Haiti goal itself was... Mondesir coming short and turning with a terrific reverse pass. El Assange here for Haiti. Still has the ball. Four players up for Haiti. Judy has continually got in beyond Mondesir. Yeah, they just haven't been able to get players in behind this Haitian defense, and no. that has been a real worry. Judy Correct. and Mondesir have done so almost at will at times. Good play on the right hand side that was. Here's Cathro forward yes. towards Haitema but that's uh, too far ahead. And Theus has to come out and show yes, yes, her yes, skill yes. with the boots yes. there, kicking that out of play. Yes. Flynn yes. coming inside. Much better. 
Here is Revere. That's a mistake chance, in the center. Chance, Gabby. Chance. Oh, it's saved chance. by Diaz. He has it twice. Call had a chance to put Canada ahead of the mistake. That one's skipping off the wet surface, and Theos does brilliantly. Theos pulling another save out as we see it again. The, the slippery surface, the ball gets through there. That's one chance, and as a second bite of the cherry, but Theos smothers it in the end, pulls another good save out for Haiti. Well, Theos may have had a rocky start to this game, but certainly over the last... 20 minutes of the first half and now early in the second half she has proven to be quite handy here Castro is looking for movement and that's been the lack of what to Canada that's what Canada been lacking today yes not enough movement up front you see you know yeah. I've, I've seen this plenty of this in the Caribbean for many years Vidya you've got wingers that run up and down they don't come into them pockets of space inside they don't get into central positions great work here at the front by Pontesia that was a free kick linesman you're right there she was fouled and there's a partner in crime Judy tracking back there that's the energy levels that these girls from Haiti have put into it but but Canada have kept their positions well let's give it away oh. well she's pulled up here well she goes down with an injury not sure what happened but it looked like though Mondesir had the chance to run in on goal she goes down. The referee has yet to call an end to play. Now there's a free kick, maybe a chance for some treatment, but yeah. Montessier is back on her feet. She's back oh. on her feet, but that would be a major blow if she was to go off video. Oh, she, she is the still may not be free of it here because she's still looking a little jaded as she runs by. She is the Talas woman of this Haiti side. Played forward by Nord. Thankless task playing up front on her own. But they, they came into this tournament knowing that they weren't as good as some of these sides, Haiti. But they came in organized. They, they came in with a pattern of play, a game plan. This is what we see again. She just nicks it there. Just can't get it. Gross off. Getting herself out of jail there. Stratagakis also goes to ground. On the, the challenge from Etienne. Haiti on the attack here. Montesir coming for it. Shaw with the ball forward, but it'll be easy for Riley Foster. Now, one of the features of Canada's play in all of these tournaments, uh, Terry, they have the best record in this competition when it comes to group play. 21 wins in 21 games. Yes. And they have outscored opponents in a big way in those games. But yet, in the last three games that they've gone beyond the group stage, they have only scored one goal in those three games. What yeah. is it? about that uh, have they not is it a bit of well I, I think it's very much what we've just been discussing i think Priestley, the priestman the manager as we just see the foul again there she's got to change the structure of the side there's not enough canadian players getting beyond Heitema. and i just think they're be they're becoming predictable and haiti have come to this game today well organized knowing exactly how canada will play out and they've not seen any change. It has been very predictable. Like the light changes all the way through. Yes. That one played out by Flynn. Will it be kept in play? It is, but not to the advantage of the Canadians. And Flynn, it's noticeable, playing in a more central position. Usually she plays out on the right side. Yeah. Oh, that's played through the middle. Montesir is after this one. That'll be Foster's ball. Yeah, she's playing in behind. Um, Heitema, but she's not, she's very rarely getting beyond Heitema. She's not breaking her neck to get down them channels. And more, more often than not, she ends up coming back into midfield, which leaves the Asian back four very tight, as we're seeing here right now. They're not giving any chances away. They're keeping it, getting numbers around. Here's Heitema for Canada, tackled out of it. Three right. players there around. Heitemer in the end there. Flynn now back on the right side. Ball played in towards the center. It'll break here for Revere. That's a poor whiz touch. Should have taken it on the chest there. Revere. I think it just came off the surface a little bit quicker with that. A little bit of a skip there, yeah. That we've had. Montesir back to Judy, but it's a poor ball. Given away to Grosso. Grosso 
forward to its height of her. Yeah, she's complaining to the official that she was being pulled and tugged yeah. there. Yeah. Ball looked to just pop up there. Didn't get the right contact on the ball. And yes, we might see some of this time wasting. Theus, no rush for Haiti, leading 1 0. Qualification spot up for grabs. World Cup qualification doesn't get any bigger than that. Haiti, if they were to beat, it would be the shock of the tournament, Bidia. Certainly would be. Nobody expected Haiti to get this far in the competition. Certainly not except for Haitian fans here in TNT and, of course, the Haitian side themselves. Yep. Antoine gives it away. Foster should get there, and she does pretty competently in the end. And who's, who's to know? Could they so score a second? Oh, could, they they love nick, that. could they nick a second goal? If they can, it would really put a real dent in the spirits of the Canadians. Yeah. They've already had a been deflated by that loss to Mexico in the semi-finals. That's a poor yeah. cross by Jean. Well, I suspect there will be changes for Canada, but I, I'm just hoping there's a change in tactics and formation rather than just player for player. Well, they have a defender who is being warmed up. That's Nadige L'Esperance, the University of Louisville player, but she's a defender. Yeah. I'm not sure what uh, the tactics will be, if it will be a straight swap, if there's a case of an injury or so. Good ball there by Grosso. Here is Antoine for Haiti, for Canada. Forward to his height to but cleared by the Haitians. They give it back to Canada, however. And the Canadians, with this excellent group record, failed really to make it through to the next stage of the competition. Now they're in danger of qualifying for the World Cup, of not qualifying for the World Cup. Can they turn things around here? Referee's got to get hold of this. I thought that was a Haiti throw in and not Can I, uh, Canada. Well, the player going down heavily on this one track two, here. One or two late challenges as we see this here again. Well, that is a uh, very is hard in, surface. In the back, Stratocacus there coming back coming through the back there. The Haitian player going down on, on what would be lane one of the running track here at the Atterbourne Stadium. Here is the running track. Uh, of course, it's named after an athlete and a significant one in the history of Trinidad and Tobago sport also. Four-time medalist at uh, the Olympics and four times at the World Championship. Canada will make that change we mentioned. This is a big change for me. Stratus is going off. One of the big players this is for Canada. Lesperance is coming off and Stratagakis's tournament is over. Oh, the she's look not on her happy. face. Yeah, she's in tears as she's she comes off. She's not happy. She walks straight past Beverly Priestman there. Not happy at all. Well, she was in tears, Terry. Yeah. Yeah, she. Very, but this very needs, unhappy. you know, it's got, there's now got to be brave decisions made by Priestman. She's got to get a result. She's getting comforted on the bench there. Yeah. Didn't have the best game. She did have a chance to score, but the shot on goal blocked by the Haitian defender. Certainly one of the blocks of the afternoon. It turned out to be very significant because it would have been a tap in for Stratagakis. Grosso with the ball in towards Rivera. Rivera will have to chase this one down. Here is Etienne for Haiti. Yeah. Well, she played it back. To <laughs> well, they didn't get their wavelengths there, correct. And that is Petit Frere just apologizing to Coach Marc Collard. Certainly had a few things to say to his player. Antoine. Haiti defending stoutly, but uh, they've certainly cranked it up a bit. Canada, the pace of the game. Headed on here by fast. Grosso. Chance perhaps for Rivera. Well, Theus is there again to read the situation well. Theus is doing a sweeper's job in behind the back four there for Haiti. That's where her value is. She's done that brilliant throughout the tournament. Look at her starting position. 10 to 12 yards out all of the time gives her a chance to mop up from any defensive errors. 
the instructions there, but I, I feel that in that true ball played, maybe the touch from Grosso actually took it closer to the keeper, uh, the angle that, that the ball was in fact played. Good ball. Another good ball. Here's Rivera for Canada. Three players inside. The early cross is Touched in towards Cole. Thais is there. Thais. Looks like she was fouled also by Carl, who may get a yellow card here. Thais might get a prize for acting there. She had four rolls. That was four too many, I thought. Well, the Academy Awards are coming up, is it? Maybe a bit too late to Carl. be nominated, but Carl is going to get a talking <laughs> to here. And the body language of Ekaterina Koroleva is a no-nonsense one. Here's the ball played in towards Carl. And Carl... I think I went to a bit too early there for it. Challenge again for it. And yeah, there it is, just under her boot. He has got there just a little bit late, and so did Carl. And, and what we're seeing here as well, video, what's, what I'm noticing here, Rivera's got one or two opportunities there when she's been one against one, and she's dragged it backwards to get across it rather than trying to take on and drive it to the box. And I think that's been the difference in the two teams. If that had been a Haitian, they're going straight at you one against one. They want to beat you. More adventure, more daring from the Haitian players in those attacking situations. And they have received the benefits of it all the way through this tournament. Still in high spirits there. Well, we're, we're approaching 60 minutes on the clock video. It's time for, hate, to, for Canada to step it up, put up or shut up, as they say. Nothing for fourth place in this tournament. Haiti will just want to remain as is. They'll not change anything, I shouldn't think. All the pressure is on the coach of Canada and this Canadian team. Can they get back on level terms? Haitama, the chance to get the cross in, cuts it back. Three players in the center, one of them is Carl. Well, the shot on goal is Frederick Thiers. A golden chance there for Canada and Les Perrons, who should have put a team ahead. Free shot on goal and hits it tamely. There we go, Haitama down that far side, cuts it back. Doesn't fancy a left foot, crosses with the right. There's the chance. Not enough venom in it to, to worry the keeper. Knocked on there towards Petit Frere. This is the strength. Mondesir, great turn here. Lovely Look at turn the technique that these girls have got. Into Brilliant. Judy. Can she get it on the end of it? Young is there for Canada once again. Well played, Young. Very calm, defending. Carl, Gabby Carl for Canada. The Can skipper getting Flynn forward for her team. Can they get people in advance? Here's Grosso. Haitama is inside now. Grosso takes on the defender, gets faster. The cross comes in. Across the face of goal, there's no one there. Yeah, just couldn't hook that cross back far enough. But I've got to be honest here. The Haitian three or of Judy, Mondesir and Dumont here. For me, they're much more threatening getting forward, Vidya. They look like they'll score. They look like they're serious about their business when they get in and around the box. We're on the other side of it. Haitama, Carl, Stratakakis has already gone off, as we've seen. Grosso there may be playing a little further forward. Not nearly the same intensity. Wondering how much that has to be with playing these five games Remember, they have all yeah. those players you mentioned have started all five games. Carl, in fact, was off, started in the second half of Correct. one of those. But they've had a lot of playing time. There hasn't been much variation to the Canadian team. Correct. Good point, Vidya. And I think that could be... That's a good ball through for Haitavar. She gets through and is oh, brought down. That's got to be a yellow card. Has to be a yellow At card least. here. The player campaigning and <laughs> is pleading yellow. against the yellow card. But Naftali Nord will get the yellow card in the 62nd minute. She is the second Haitian player to get the yellow. Nord now is playing a more central position here. Here we go. Haitama just gets there first. Tough call for the referee. Haitama also carrying an injury 
as you would see from the strapping. Yes. And it, it been, it's been a tough old tournament for her. Bev Priestman is, is na nail biting stuff for her. You see, when it comes there. to a physical battle, the Haitians have stood up to everything. I don't think Canada have, have produced anything as far as. Carl to Flynn. Surprise move here from Canada. Yeah. Peters out as Flynn can't get the cross in. See, for me, Flynn's got to then take it on, try and beat the final defender. Back to Good Flynn. Good play again. Here's the ball coming in from Flynn. Heitema is there. Free kick given. Free kick against uh, Heitema. Knocking over Rosine Jean. Rosianne Jean. And the keeper there is asking the referee for a yellow card against yeah. Heitema. And I think, I suspect we'll see quite a bit of this in the re remaining minutes of the game here, Vidya. Haiti will not be in any hurry at all. Injuries that go down, they will stay down, they'll run the clock. Tactics, professionalism, so much at stake for this Haitian side. First ever time they will have qualified for a World Cup tournament at this level. Looks like Haitimo may have actually landed on the hand of the defender. That's yes. what's caused the problem, Jean. Uh, inadvertent, of course, Haitimo was trying to uh, gone up for the cross, and Jean, with a spectacular diving header, got it out of play. Yeah. Terrific defending from this young lady, as we've seen throughout the tournament. And, and the difference is, Vidya, these... Haiti defenders, their distances between each other has been no more than 10 yards, 10 yards, 10 yards, and 10 yards. So they've always had a partner. They've always got a teammate to get, if there's a mistake, they've always got somebody close enough to get them out of jail. Well, coming out for the moment is Rosiane Jean, the Tigressa player. She's gonna trot around to the half line. Haiti momentarily down to 10 players. Yeah, with Dumont out taking free kicks out of his out of her own box, that leaves them very light. But this girl's done a terrific job. Judy hasn't stopped running, hasn't stopped competing. There you go, gets a corner for her team. What a performance that has been from that young lady. And several of these girls from Haiti, they're putting their lives on the line. They're putting everything into it, heart and soul trying to get this record-breaking result for Haiti. Yes, they run the clock down. Referee's got to keep on top of that, of course. But who could argue? Judy with a corner for Haiti. That should be Foster's ball, too close to the goalkeeper. The last time these two countries would have faced off, in a third place playoff match it was in the CONCACAF on the 17 women's championship back match back in 2016 Canada beat Haiti 4-2 that time and uh, get this Shayna Flynn who is up there attacking for the ball for Canada right now she had scored in the 73rd minute to give Canada a 3-0 lead but Nerila Mondesir scored two goals late 80 and 89th minute uh, to give Haiti Pull it back to 4-2 for Haiti. Canada eventually finishing third in that under-17 competition. A little bit of deja vu for these two teams. But this time, the Haitians are ahead. Ball flower to its Flynn. And that makes such a big difference, Vidya. Having a goal to hang on to. They've got their prize. They don't need to score a second goal. But clearly, they can't concede. So their numbers will be back defending. The shape of their team will not change. They hope that Mondezer can score a second goal on the on a counter attack to relieve pressure, but they're happy where they are. And look how tight they are as a unit. This is a top class performance, very professional, very well organised. Chance now, through chance. here for Carl driving into the box, and Theus is sliding in to make the save. There's that girl again, Theus. Well, she's complaining that she has damaged her hand. I think that was. Carl following through there. But yeah. what a save that is again, playing the sweepers role in behind the Haiti back four. Uh, playing that role, you're gonna get a lot of knocks, and certainly she has. She's Theus. done she's done brilliant. Yeah, she's has been in this final. Here we go again. The right Theus has shown up. 
call is she strong enough is she quick enough to get there she lunges at it in the end and that's i think that's just the lady's legs clashing together here we go i don't think there's anything malicious in this at all video just trying to get in front of the defender who yeah. was who was doing well to push her away from the ball that's tabitha yeah. joseph good defending from joseph but the clock's running down video it certainly is and it's running away very quickly canada have not got long to pull this out of the fire well they got uh, a goal in the 80th minutes against mexico so yep. don't write them off just yet and we all know about haiti that they'll not want penalties that's for sure the, the last showing in the penalty shootout was abysmal missed all three penalties back in 2014 the last time that uh, a caribbean team played in the third place playoff they played against uh, it was trinidad and tobago against costa rica and that one ended three seven three after extra time three one in fact after extra time a lot of goals scored there change here for haiti and uh, there will be a change it is nicola who was brought off for this game she didn't start in this one she has been replaced by petty frere and uh, in many of the games in this tournament petty frere has in fact replaced nicola so now they've turned it around here in the third place playoff 69th minute the change being made and Petit Frere comes on for, is uh, taken off, Nicola is on. So the change being made, a small mini conference there among the Haitian team. And Theus is still being treated. There will be a lot of time added on for stoppages, I can tell you, at the end of this, Terry. Yeah, there's been lo lots of stoppages. I'm hoping the referee does take that into account course it would be very unfair on this Canadian side <coughs> if there's only two or three minutes out on time after what I think this is the fourth break we've had here's the clash again nothing malicious just two girls going for the ball knee on knee in fact and Theus will continue she's not going to take the free kick however that'll be Dumonet to boom it forward look at that long kick from Dumonet yeah very powerful young lady Antoine gets the clearance and now Haiti take it over in the midfield they've been faster to every ball in the midfield all the way through the day that once skips past the defender she cleared it into the body of Montesir Nicholas just getting in there this is the pressure that they fight Lesperance is bailed out by the free kick there that's been a good tactic for Haiti throughout the tournament video they get that ball in behind and then all of a sudden three or four players join Mondesir trying to close the ball down and they win it in very high up positive positions in the field Judy and uh, Flynn give away again that's pressure again from Haiti Elosan now gives it away to Canada here's Regan we haven't seen much of in the second half no cuts inside taken over by Grosso Russell has Castro, but look, that'll be taken away look from Castro. Haiti on the attack here. It's Nicola with the ball in. Chance. That might fall kindly for Judy. She does get it. Etienne in the center. Here's Elosad with a shot. Shot down. Dumonet under pressure. And headed away by Young. Good towering header from the Canadian center back. Canada happy to clear their lines. Grosso there just smashing it anywhere not like her at all but who could take it away from this Haitian team they've worked their socks off they've done brilliant they've counter-attacked football they've got the all-important goal and what a goal that was players going down all over the place one of them at the bottom of your picture there is Elosan yeah this one played forward but uh, straight to Nord Haiti Jerry fitness Shaw. levels have been excellent Shaw with a forward ball that's a good one towards Mondes here well Judy was running after it play continues the referee is not allowing treatment for Elosan well they can't have it both ways you see video because whilst Haiti were in possession of the ball they played on themselves 
and now that it's Canada in possession, they're expecting the ball to be kicked out of play. Can't work both ways. No. So fair play to Canada. They've played on. No, they get they're getting treatment for Lausanne, and the stretcher is being called for by Katarina Koroleva. I th I I suspect Lausanne will be one of the maybe come off because of this. She's run her socks off for the team. She's put everything into the match, but she does look tired to me. I thought over the last five minutes. And at the moment for Haiti, it's about keeping the team shape, keeping that resilience that they've shown throughout the game. They haven't given any chances away, really. I can't remember a one-on-one -on -one with a Haitian goalkeeper, Vidya. They haven't uh, just been that chance that went past theirs and uh, unable to score at that time was Stratagakis. Great tackle by the defender. Canada in the history of this tournament uh, this is their 35th game and they've had an excellent defensive record today they can see that their 20th goal in those 35 games and this may be the goal that the one they rule the, the, lead, the most yeah what a goal it was Elisant on the far side will Haiti yes, make a change yes, here yes. and there's Beverly Priestman there needs to make changes in the in the formation of the team the team tactics in fact good, good ball to out wide. who gets the cross oh, in but it's not a good one not enough quality on that from Rivera, and that's been just how they've gone all afternoon canada they've lacked that little bit of composure they've lacked that that final pass that final cross the final shot not enough quality on it ellison meanwhile is on her feet yeah and in contrast, at the other end, you've had Haiti with the goal that they scored, I thought, was precision. Maybe uh, an injury of some sort, a hamstring injury, or groin injury, perhaps. Ball will drop out of play, and it'll be Haiti's ball. Prepare. Drifted in and out of the game all the way through. She yep. certainly hasn't had the influence as she's had in other games. Referees trying to quicken this Haiti team up. Closing in on 75 minutes, video. Bev Priestman instructed to go back, and here is Elisant also back on the field. But Bev Priestman was having a stern chat with There's the ball official. Again. Flicked on, Judy. With Judy. And Young has been in the way of everything that Haiti have tried to produce this afternoon, yeah. except for that brilliant opening goal. Lesperance with the early ball. Just looking at the way the game's panning out here. Still got far too many white shirts behind the ball, Vidya. Haitama flicks that on for Rivere. Okay. Comes off the body of Rivere. Goal kick for Haiti. Another frustrating afternoon for Canada. The power, the closing down, the physical fitness, the physique of the teams not working. Haiti have matched all of that throughout the whole game and produced an absolutely sublime goal. Well, Canada, as we mentioned, very good defensively. They've only conceded one goal or fewer in nine consecutive on the 20 matches, including five shutouts. No shutout here today, but the problem for them has been they've this been unable to be score. Yellow There's a yellow card for Dumonet. Time wasting. And Dumonet instructed to hurry things up here. That is the third yellow card for a Haitian player. Haiti made one change so far. Canada made two, Flynn and Lesperance on. They have one more change to make. Flynn, yes, Flynn. on the right hand side. Carl for Canada. Players are now coming forward. Can Carl get the ball in? She does try to. But three defenders are closing in on her. She maintains possession, gets possession back, but Haiti will send this power to a Judy. Can't keep it in play. Dumonier doing an unbelievable job for this side. Haiti tracking back all over the park, doubling up on tackles, keeping the shape of the team. It really has been a very professional performance by Haiti. They've not broken from rank. 
they kept the team shape, team formation throughout the game. Canada have come up against. Call. He has the ball in from Haitama. On the edge of the box. Call might still get it. And there's been precious little of action inside of the box for Canada. Correct. Because they've outnumbered them video every opportunity. Here we go again. There's the handball against Carl. Wondering how much that statement from Carl would have fired up the Haitians. They were right there when it was made. Yeah. Something you, you try not to do in these days. Do not talk up your chances. But I, I, I felt that from, from the very first game. I thought they came here. Although that was an opportunity. That, yeah, it certainly was. They came there. here with that, that arrogance, which, which I'm not being nasty by saying this, but they are a very good side, Canada. But they had that sort of little bit of arrogance about them that we're going to get to the final, we're going to qualify, we'll hopefully win the tournament. And people have just not seen the qualities in this Haitian side. Organisation, every man jack of these kids have worked their socks off, they fought and scrapped on every ball. It's really been a mammoth performance throughout. And they're not giving it up, video. Certainly not. And one of them is Etienne, who is in the way of that play. Here's Haitama. She gets into the box. Chance here for Haitama. Yeah. Goal kick for Haiti came off the shins of the Canadian player. Yeah. Good tackle again. Two players getting in the way. Video, I'm just going to make a point here again. Great run from Haitama. This is to get in the box, as we see now. But she's the only Canadian in the box. There was four Haitian players tracking back, trying to get a foot in there, and they've done enough. Defenser, defenders done enough. There's not enough players getting beyond the ball. That for, was Shaw, in fact. For Canada. Shaw, in fact, making the tackle. There's Hannah Taylor on the bench with the sunglasses on. She's in the shade, but that's because of the injury. Nasty knock in the last game. Yeah. And... Uh, Ekaterina Koroleva may have been expecting when she came into this game there would be a fair amount of time wasting by the team that went forward that went that scored first in this one so far I think she's handled it fairly well and as we see on the side of the pitch there the injuries being carted off yeah as we expected there Ellison out and number 15 coming in 14, sorry. Rachel Karamu. Karamu coming off the bench. Beverly Friesman there with her board out, showing these players what she wants. Is that a change of formation? It might be too late. We're inside the last 10 minutes of normal time. 10 minutes that Canada must get an equalizing goal if they've got any aspirations of going forward, Vidya, to World Cup. Now, if they do score and it remains one all at the end of the game, it will go straight to penalty kicks. No extra time in the third place playoff. Extra time and penalties, however, will yeah. happen in the finals if that does eventually. Well, at this moment, penalty happen. kicks would would be fine for Canada, I'm sure. Yeah, they certainly will take that now. They Given take away that. By Carl. They take that all. The deal. forward ball is there. Chance. Bon this here. Can she get to it first? She Chance. does get to it. Bon this here. On the attack here for Haiti. Oh. This will fall for Etienne. Look at the Can numbers. Can she shoot? She, oh, oh, that's a poor shot indeed. A wretched shot by Etienne. She did have the pass on to Judy. Vidya, you might not have seen it there, but as Mondesir is breaking her neck to win the ball up front, not one, but three Haitian players breaking their neck to get in the box. If you have a look at the back up here, they're running past white shirts. There we go, almost outnumbering the white shirts at the back. This is brilliant stuff from Haiti. Dave Filippo, in the meantime, has come on for Canada. There's a chance once again coming off Cathro. And that was the last... Judy there, trying to get a shot off. Well, that's the last Cathro will, in fact, play in this game. She has been substituted in the 81st minute. So Dave Filippo, the number 20 for Canada, plays for Quebec. This is the last roll of the dice video. Yeah, it is. Third substitution for Canada. De Filippo on, Lesperance and Flynn. 
neither Lesperance nor Flynn have ha made an impression on the game. Lesperance, yeah. in fact, had a shot of goal, which uh, was charged down. And what we're seeing all over again here, we're seeing from Canada exactly the same formation, but they've changed the players into different positions. Same formation, same tactics, the same formation and tactics that Haiti have dealt with all day. It had to change. There we go again. Closing down at the front, Haiti. Mondesir followed by the next back four. Here we go. Dumonier getting around the ball. Making Canada come backwards. Filippo and Young getting involved. Carl now it's on Carl. the right wing. Onto that left foot of hers. Good cross. Theus is there. Well, she and the defender got into an awful challenge. A tangle there. Shaw goes down. I think she got the, the punch on the head from a goalkeeper. What a header that was. Defensive header. Ball back into the center. Is there. What a catch by Theus. Theus there. Do, doing brilliantly for a team. Haitema throwing herself in as she's done all the way through this tournament. Very brave player is Haitema, yeah. but uh, equally so with Theus. Interesting to see how many minutes add on time we have here, video. We've had lots of breaks, lots of injuries. Just over six minutes to go, possibly six about three or four time. minutes to be added. Still time for Canada to rescue matters. They got the goal against Mexico in the 80th minute. That time has come and gone. They're still looking for a chance. Dumonier, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Gets the ball into Mondesir. Tackles back. The two banks of four from Haiti. Look how they're shifting the team up the park there. Back in towards Haitama. Flynn. Good ball by Flynn. Here's Carl once again. She wants it on the left foot. Crosses cross. with the right. Haitama is there. Chance. Cleared away by Haiti. Two players getting in each other's way. Haitema and Rivera moving in. Good turn. Etienne. Can she get the pass off? Good turn from Etienne. Keeping the ball. Nicola. Nicola on this side. Oh, and she waited too long, Nicola. Montessier was in an offside position and it got through. She'd be okay with that. It's on the side of the field there. This is all running the clock down from Haiti. They're not in any rush. Beverly Priestman wants, the get, wants them to get on with the game, but Haiti are not in any rush at all. They've got their eyes on three points and qualification. Five minutes to go. That went out of play. It'll out be three for Canada. Canada Grosso, now. Grosso now playing on this left-hand side. The Canadians desperate for a goal here, which would take it into a penalty shootout. Yeah. The chances have been far and few between in the last 20 minutes or so. It's been attritional stuff. Mondesir heading this one on to chance, Judy. Chance, chance. Judy has got it. Got it on behind the defenders. Corner kick. Antoine, has she conceded a corner here? It's a goal kick. Well, <laughs> no, Antoine, actually, Antoine was had kicked it away to indicate it was a corner. Yeah. The official had indicated it was a goal kick. Look at how Antoine will Antoine gave it away here. The ball came off her shin, and look at what she does here. She knocks it away for a corner. Yep. The official had actually given a goal kick. <laughs> well, hey, hey, that's, that's great honesty shown by Antoine there. Yes, very much so. Haiti trying to run the clock down there. Still four minutes of normal time remaining. Canada now have offered two more players up front. They have to go a long ball game from here. Dubonnet doesn't get hold of it. Flynn turns nicely Flynn. and it's brought down. Next ball has got to go in the penalty box video. Well, it's kicked away by the Haitian player. That could be another yellow card. All hands on deck. Koroleva says move forward with it. Everybody's got to get further forward. Second ball is all important. Don't let the ball run out of play. Don't let a Haitian clear it. They've got to fight on that second ball. Here is the ball played in. Headed up into the air by Haitama. On the end of the box, Haiti have numbers back. As they've had all game, they've not moved. They've, they've had them players behind the ball all times. Judy with the outlet pass. Yes, Nicola. Can she get the ball forward? She's still holding on to it. Gets the ball in. 
It's broken. Oh, currently. it's broken down for Haiti. There was a golden chance. Nicola just waited too long. End to end stuff here in the final moments of this game, Didier. <laughs> Free kick again to Canada on that far side. Carl signal the referee she wants the player 10 yards away so they can go again in fact it'll be foster the goalkeeper this is going nowhere else but the penalty area second ball all important tension on the face of foster heitemer i can't believe not even close not in the box yet for canada carl on the ball good tackle on that far side haiti are not giving this up at all been a tremendous performance holding their own for the Caribbean region <coughs> still alive here for Canada it would be a it would be a very harsh blow that's gonna be a yellow card <laughs> back pocket could be red it's well, a straight it is a red, red card a straight red card and that is for the number 20 for Canada. Dave Filippo, who has just come on. Wow. Has dented a team's chances of qualifying for the World Cup. Dave Filippo with an ill-advised tackle. And she has been red carded. I thought that was a little bit harsh myself. But that just shows you the frustration. A contentious call team. here. Yes, it is very... Well, let's see that again. Here we go. Studs up. Yeah, referee's yeah. got a point. Can't argue with that. Haiti will just let the clock run out now. We're inside the final minute of normal time. I suspect there could be as much as six or seven minutes add on time here, video. That's how many breaks that we've had in this match. Canada will feel very hard done by if, if it's not six or seven minutes that's for sure yeah it certainly will but the problem is now they're now battling with 10 players mark collette there on the side of the field there organizing his troops getting his players back on the field concentration levels are all important what a ball with that the is. Pass. chance here for haiti can they get the second goal oh at the well they, they will get a corner here a corner i suspect off it, the body of regan i suspect it will stay out there i shouldn't think they've crossed this one they're two big players. And the signal is there'll be five minutes of extra oh, of time added minutes. on for stoppages. I expected more than that, video. We've had four or five long periods in the game when the game has stopped. Corner taken, comes off the foot of the defender. That's another corner. Yes, it is gonna be another corner there for Haiti. Wasn't expecting that one to be cleared by Mondesir. She tried to cross that one. She and Judy will try to hold on to this one in the corner. Here's Mondesir. Well, if anybody's going to hold on to the ball, it's Good Mondesir. Strength. Good Mondesir strength. gets it inside, now takes it back to the corner. She's going to keep it in there for five minutes herself. Can't away. come away with it. No room to make a mistake in there. Grosso. Too many passes at the back. They need to get this ball forward. Antoine on this side. It's got to go longer. Antoine, the hustle pressure here from Haiti. That was a foul. It was. The call has gone against Haiti. The tackle's coming in. Bev Friesman being asked to go back into a technical area. Yeah. In fact, her assistant was also in the technical area. He's been told to go back to the bench. <laughs> got a book out on the side of the field. I don't know what that is at this stage of the game. It's all about information now, Bev, darling. Foster will take the free kick. Haiti of all players behind the box. Second ball is all important. Can they get round it? Well, Good it's talking gone straight at the to back. the goalkeeper. Good defending from Haiti. Organization, structure in their team. They haven't broken rank all afternoon. They thoroughly deserve this win. They've scored a sensational goal. Three minutes to go in this one. Still a lot of time for Canada to get an attack going. Mondesir asking for it and gets the free kick. Yeah. What a wonderful performance this is. It Haiti. Was, it was Mondesir's assist that led to the goal by Judy. Judy still had a lot to do. And 
coming off the toe of the defender of L'Esperance. Here's Mondesir. Canada have gone to sleep on this chance. Into the box. Chance. Chance here for Haiti. They're just going to pass it. Still Nicola. a chance. Nicola! Save! Amazing huh. football. That could have been the second goal. Judy wisely deciding to step aside. What a treat. The these. celebration starting on the bench for Haiti. What a treat from these young ladies. It's a good save. Two hands to it. Running the clock down. <laughs> Two minutes to go. This should be another corner for Haiti. It's gone out for a goal. Oh, it's yet another corner. Yeah, it came off the defender that time. Canada frustrated, deflated. Can they pull themselves up one time more in this competition? Haiti. Subtle smiles on the faces oh, of the Haitians. That's well skill. played. But it was offside. Offside position. Now finally a chance here for Canada to Over. get the ball forward. Foster. They have under two minutes. The Canadians start cheering loudly. Urging on their team. Haitima is there. Haiti take it over. Good skill on the ball. And Etienne. <laughs> Keeping the as ball. As cool as you like. That's what's played over for Bon this year. Will she go for goal or get out to the... She's gone she... for goal and uh, that, that's an effort that goes miles wide. Haiti rallying their troops, getting back behind the ball. Well, she should have taken it towards the corner flag. That's where you needed to go. Foster. Just over a minute to go. Ball forward. Back Dumont into Air. Canadian territory. Brilliant from Dumont here. Won another he header right <coughs> in the middle of the park there. What a shift Dumont has put in for this side of there. This could be the last chance this for Canada. Regan driving forward for Canada. Last minute of the game. Here, oh, That's it's played it. on by Heitema. Nobody responded. No one again beyond Heitema. Everyone goal side. That's been the disappointment with Canada. Seconds to go here for Canada to rescue themselves. But Haiti have it. Back with Canada. Last chance saloon here, Regan. Who Lesperance. Who could argue with this Haiti, Haiti team? They deserve what they're getting out of the game. Reagan, ball forward now. Haitima has it. Can she get the cross in? This could be the very last kick for Canada. Ball into the chance, center. Chance. Flynn was there and she couldn't hold on to it. Haitima, another chance here for Canada. Last minute Here's Flynn. That's there it. it is. Haiti up to the World Cup. A stunning upset in the third place playoff. And the first Caribbean side in the history of this combination to go to the 120 Women's World Cup. Stunning, stunning upset. Canada completely defeated. And Thea celebrates a famous victory for Haiti. Who could argue, Vidya? They have been absolutely sensational. Little Haiti have just rolled over Canada in the third place playoff position to go through to World Cup later this year in France. What a brilliant performance. Oh, well, see, it's ended with a magnificent goal by Judy that settles the issue at full time. Haiti 1, Canada Dill.